Okay, so we've got the IK uh, controls all set up, and the one thing that I was going to do that I forgot to do at the end of the last video is make sure we name these um, IK controls. So just like we did with the FK control, uh, make sure we're at the top of the chain. Now, you, what I did last time was I selected the control, which left these top two nodes unselected. So with the top offset node selected, we're just going to go into uh, search and replace. And we'll search for control, and we'll replace with IK control, and hit OK. And we should be good. I'm looking at a couple of these pole vectors uh, aren't don't have control in them, so they didn't get switched. Um, hmm, interesting. Okay, so I'm gonna look for this one and go right here. Apply those and my left arm IK handle. Obviously, there's not going to be an IK handle on the FK chain, so we should be good now. Uh, I just didn't have that little dash in the control here, so okay. So all these guys are all named and uh, set up properly. Um, we're going to go ahead and set up an SDK control over the hand. Now we are going to set one up for the IK as well as the FK, so that Anytime you're in either one of these modes, you can quickly um, select the hand. Um, however, I'm going to go and work with the FK first, and because it's got all, we have all these uh, controls and the fingers set up, um, so it's going to be a little bit easier to understand what I'm doing. And, and also, we're going to be able to use the uh, SDK nodes here. So, uh, first of all, to start, you know, obviously I'm into the uh, FK layer here. And I'm going to create a control shape as usual to um, to uh, add some custom attributes to it. So uh, we set up our control shape now. By I I have these um, uh, mail scripts set up so that they double um, group these. You only need to group this once because we're not going to put any SDK nodes on um, the SDK node that's automatically set up. So what I'm going to do is move this over here, move this over here like that, and delete this one. So basically you just need a shape and an offset node. And so now that I have that, uh, the offset node is here. And what I'm going to do is bring it up to the first finger and do the same parent, unparent, whoop, parent, zero these out. And then unparent it. Uh, it just positions my, it just positions it up here by the hand. It's not extremely important where this is. I just want it over here by the hand somewhere. So going to go under the controls. I'm going to move it up in front of the hand so it doesn't get in the way of my other um, control selections. And uh, again, I just want it kind of over here so. Um, oh, I'd mess with this forever, but maybe like that instead. Anyway, uh, whatever. Um, like I mentioned in the other video, there's, uh, you know, you can have this set up. There's some hands and some pretty cool curves I've seen. Um, we're just going to keep it very simple. And uh, so this is my offset node. Now what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to lock and hide all of these because I'm not going to do anything to this guy besides some custom attributes. So I'll lock and hide selected on those and I'll have the visibility on. I can hide that or I can leave it um, visible. Um, so for right now I'm just going to leave it visible and what I'm going to do is under the uh, edit button is I'm going to add an attribute. So this is going to allow us to add custom attributes to this control curve. So um, I'm going to name this first one. So these are basically all the custom attributes we're going to set up for the hand. And I'm not going to go through the entire list. I'm just going to go through a couple samples here for the video. And for this first one, I'm just going to name this uh, index. Um, curl. And I'm going to use this one to curl the index finger. And uh, just quickly, I'm going to go over now. A vector, everybody should know, is a 
direction and magnitude, so it's a line. An integer is any whole number. 1, 0, 2, 200, any whole number. Negative 1, negative 2. Uh, a string is a string of any types of numbers, which we're not going to get into. A float is what we are going to use. Now, a float is any value, uh, decimal values included. So 1.5, negative 5.2, all that. Um, and so we're going to use a float for this, uh, for these, and the minimum number is going to be negative 10. Our maximum number is going to be 10. So the reason I explain that a little bit is the we have between negative 10 and 10, we have uh, you know all the numbers in between, um, including decimals, and we're only go going to go down to a tenth. So 1.1. 1.2, 1.5. Anyway, uh, the default is zero. So obviously we have you know plenty of selections, 200 different variables in between here. Um, minimum, maximum, negative 10, 10, and a default zero. And I'm going to hit add. And you can see that we've added a custom control over here. Uh, over here, I'm going to do another one. Um, you know, now what you you know what I'm going to have my class do, or what you want to do if you're just building this. Um, rig is you want to have each one of these fingers curl independently so including the thumb so you'd have thumb curl index curl middle curl you know um, ring curl and pinky curl uh, again for this sample I'm not going to do all of these um, right now so the next one I'm going to do is actually as a demonstration I'm going to call it uh, point and what this is going to do is the whole hand is going to move into a pointing gesture and I'm going to keep this a floating tool and the minimum is actually going to be zero and the maximum is going to be ten and our default is going to be zero and I'm going to add okay so I'm just going to start with these two and that ought to give you enough information where you can go through and create uh, the rest of the ones that you want so starting with point now when I go through and and select this and then middle mouse drag we're going to be able to go from ten it's from 0 to 10, and you can see in increments of point, you know, in the tenths of percentage. So now in the index curl, we're going to be able to go negative. So, and then all the way up to 10. Negative 10, positive 10, and the default's going to be 0. So in the 0 position, now what we're going to do is, uh, let me check the time. We're going to set up uh, controls over this, and we're going to set it up with uh, using the set driven keys. So under with the animation tab selected here, uh, we can go animate, and we're going to go set driven key, set. Okay. So uh, what this is going to do is it's going to say what do you want to use to drive your animation, and what is going to be driven. So right now, because I uh, selected this, it automatically put that into the driven. Um, I don't know, maybe I have my preferences set up to do that, but anyway, I don't want it in the driven. I want it, this is the driver, so our control shape is going to be the driver. So when I select this, I want the hand to do something. So I'm going to say load driver, and you can see it put our custom attributes over here. Load driver, and what I want to be driven are all these fingers. So I'm going to select all these little tools that we made, all of our little flag controls. And I'm going to go through and make sure I get the thumbs. Okay, so I've got all these selected. Now, these are obviously, since we selected these, these are the control shapes. Now, the control shapes are already constrained to the bones. We can see because they've turned pink. So we don't want, we can't control those a second time uh, without, um, well, without getting very complicated. So when I shift and open these, we're going to see down here, that we are uh, running out of space here. Okay, so we can see that we have all the controls selected. And what we want, now above the node, the next node up is the SDK node, which until now has been really hard to explain why it's there. So here, this is the whole reason we have the SDK node. The offset node Con contains all of the information of our um, transforms, where these are positioned. So any kind of commands we put onto those are going to be have transforms on them. So they're not going to be clean commands. And I know it sounds a little bit confusing, but um, so and now the controls we've set up in this particular situation, the actual controls to control these bones. 
So that leaves, that's why we put in the SDK so that we have an empty, clean, transformed node to add a, a second or third level of controls on. So with all the controls selected in our viewport here and then in our outliner, we can see that they're all selected. The easiest way to get to the SDK node is to simply tap the up arrow on your keyboard and it's going to move up one chain on all of those. So if I tap it twice, we're on the offset node and you can see the transformations over here on the offset node to the top right of the screen. Um, all these offsets have transformations. So if we were going to try and add a set driven to key to these, we would have to take into account all these numeric values. So it's extremely difficult and not worth the challenge. So when we tap down one key, you're going to notice over here now in the channel editor or channel box, all, all these nodes are still very clean, right? So that's what we're going to use to uh, set up another level of command. So now what I'm going to do is load, click on the load driven, and we're going to load all these SDK nodes into our driven area. Okay, so when we select on all these, it's going to say, what do you want? What property? You only have, you're only allowed Z, Y, and visibility. I'm not really sure why we have Y. I probably didn't lock that one off. Anyway, we want rotate Z. So I'm going to select rotate Z. And the attribute that we're working on with the temp, with the control, oh, I forgot to rename it. Um, I'll rename that. Um, the attribute that we're working on right now is I'm going to do, because I have all these selected, I'm going to work with our point. So I want the whole hand to point, okay? And uh, by doing that, basically the whole, I'm going to have the whole hand curl except for the index finger. So I'm going to go back through and I'm going to control deselect this index finger because I don't want this to do anything, okay? So with the SDK nodes uh, selected and I'm at point and my point's at zero, um, if we collect, select back in the temp control, my point is set to zero up here. And that's where I want it. So point, rotate Z, and I'm going to hit key. So what that did is that set a key for all the positions of those fingers. And actually, um, hmm, I probably want a key for this one too. So I'm going to set a key for that one in that zero position. Okay, so now when I go back over to the control, and on point, I'm going to move my point value up to its highest value, which is 10. So at 10, at position 10, I'm going to move these back over. <clears throat> at position 10, I want all of these, so I'm going to select the SDKs here, and what I'm going to do is go uh, select hierarchy. So I've got these entire things changed, so in the, and I'm going to deselect the finger, because I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is curl the hand right now, and I don't want to curl the index finger, so I'm going to deselect that. So I've got all these, all the controls selected. I hit select hierarchy. So I'm controlling all of these right now. So now on the rotate Z, I'm going to rotate these down so that I've got a nice finger point. And um, as a, as the rigger, what we want to do is, if anything, is have it go a little bit too far rather than not far enough. The animator can back it off a little bit if he wants to. Our job is to make sure he has complete control. So that is definitely too far. I'm going to clean this number up with a negative 65. And I'm going to leave it right there. And everything is set up. And what I'm going to do is now I'm going to go back and select back over to these SDKs because they're where I want them. Everything's bent and positioned the way I want. And I'm going to hit key. Okay, so now when I exit out of the set driven key and I clear over here and I select on my ring I've got point at 10 so if I middle select on this I know it's hard to see with the uh, everything going on I guess I could probably turn this off I don't know if that helps or not um, anyway with that off at point what I can do is when I go back down my hand is all gonna move now so this is really handy so now I've got this pointing feature which I can animate uh, or the animator can use to bend the hand and uh, have everything point. Pretty nice. So I'm going to move on to the index curl. First of all, I'm going to select this guy and I'm going to find him. Wow. Actually, I'll just find him here. 
my left temp control. Let's see what time I got. Oh, I gotta stop and do this one here in the next video.